25's Jameson Keepover is at the Capitol now, where groups will soon be advocating for change. Jameson, what can we expect today? Well, Shelby, it's all started already in the second floor rotunda of the Capitol right now. Uh, there are several groups, state agencies, individual advocates who are talking about fentanyl overdoses and opioid overdoses. And what you're seeing behind me is the new campaign from the state of Oklahoma to increase awareness. And something that they're starting today is the largest that we've ever seen in the U.S. And it's starting right here in Oklahoma. It's these vending machines. And I have with me... He pays with the Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services. So he tell me about this technology and how it's going to help Oklahomans. Accidental overdose is the leading cause of death for folks that are 50 and under right now. And it is so important that we get this out to people and get the life-saving me medication out to folks who need it right now. So in this vending machine, it's naloxone and fentanyl test strips, which are uh, anti, it's a reversal medication for opioid overdose. And then fentanyl test strips help to test the presence of fentanyl because so many drugs, so many um, pills, so much um, substance right now is being cut with fentanyl and people are dying just with one use. And so this will be free to them at their fingertips, 40 different locations in Oklahoma. So tell me how would they use this if they saw this and, and needed it? You want me to demonstrate it? Let's All right. It. So it, we, we want to keep the barriers as minimum as we can. So the only thing we're asking for is your zip code. So you put in your zip code, you select which medication you want. And then we'll see it fall. And from there, you just reach in, grab what you need. Yep. And and, and what comes in? Yeah. Two, two um, uh, nasal sprays. And so this is what you would use if you were going, if somebody was experiencing an overdose. And we want everybody to have this because it's just like uh, in a first aid kit. You, know, you have Band-Aid, you have Tylenol, you have things that would be um, used in an emergency or if, if you need somebody to, something to help you. And this will help you um, save a life. And that's exactly what we're trying to do with this. And so how many... How many Oklahomans just last year didn't have Narcan on hand and, and we saw accidental overdoses? We have been getting Narcan out for the past couple years, including the fentanyl test strips within the last year. And we have seen a, almost um, a thousand people dying by overdose. And so it's really important that we disseminate as much as we can. And these vending machines are going to help us get it out into places that um, uh, would increase the access points, especially in areas where there are already higher incidents of overdoses happening right now. Well, thank you so much, Heath. So you're going to start seeing not only these, but as well as TV ads, um, bus ads, just all across the state. I even saw a billboard yesterday. So you're going to start seeing this and hopefully raising awareness and a better understanding of what the state of Oklahoma is going through and what they're doing to change it. For Fox 25, I'm Jameson Keefover.